Okay, um, the steps in putting a tattoo machine together for operation are as follows. You're going to have uh, several pieces of equipment before you. You're going to have a, a pre-sterilized needle, one sterilized tube which the needle rides in, the machine itself, not a gun, the machine itself, uh, an eye loop or a, a strong magnifier, and your power supply. Uh, your first step is going to be to, to get your needle and tube out of the packages. And that should be done carefully because if you don't take this out of here uh, rather carefully, you can, you can damage the needle. So if you'll open it up from the eye loop end, then just slide the needle out very carefully. Set your packaging off to the side. Once you've got your needle out, you can set it to the side and then take your tube out of this package, set the package off to the side. <clears throat> Before you load, I'm putting together an outliner here. Before you load the outliner, you want to go down to where the needle is soldered onto the bar and just give the needle a very light bend downward. Just flex it, just so that it's not on the same plane as the needle bar anymore. The reason for this, uh, I'll explain to you a little bit later on. Once you've got that done, you want to hold your tube so that the reservoir or the tube tip is facing away from you very carefully so you don't ding the tips of these needles slide the needle into the tube and then when you get right to the tip you got to be very careful to center it and then let it drop right through the tube tip then you'll have a needle and tube assembly when the needle is in the tube that is a needle and tube assembly now when you're placing the needle and tube assembly into the machine you'll hold the tube by the grip Take your index finger, secure the needle so that it doesn't slide up or down inside the tube. Push it up through the tube vise, with the loop of the needle, first, the needle bar first, and then very carefully, make sure your tube vise is loose, slide your tube up into the, to the bottom of the tube vise and secure it. You want to make sure you've got this tube secured in the vise here because you're going to have to, uh, you can see I don't have a grommet on my armature bar, so I'm going to have to put a grommet together out of a paper towel, which is what I prefer to use. So once you've got that secured, lay your machine down. You'll tear off a little bit of a corner of a paper towel. Some people use tape. Some people use hockey tape. Some people use just regular uh, medical tape. I use paper towels because I like to fold them and uh, get the needle bar really snug on the armature bar. You fold up that piece of the square paper towel, place it on the tip of your armature bar, hold it in place with your thumb and forefinger, then apply the eye loop of the needle bar onto that paper towel and push it down until it's nice and tight, nice and snug, and give it just a little light check to make sure it's on there tight. Once you've done that, take your rubber bands from the top of the machine bring them down across the needle bar, give them a little stretch and a pop to make sure they're not twisted and that they're as far down on the needle bar as possible. Now I'm going to come back to what I was talking about bending the needle when I first showed you the needle bar. The reason you do that is when you put the tube, when you slide the tube down to adjust your needle depth, which is what I'm doing now, you want that tip of that tube or that needle to be riding in the V of your tube tip. If you don't give it that little bend, your needle is going to be up in the center and it's going to cause your needle to wobble a bit back and forth. So make sure when you take your needle out of the package, you give that needle just a little bit of a bend downward so that it's riding in the very V at the bottom of your tube tip. Once you've got the needle and tube secured in the tube vise, loosen it up, slide it up or down until just the very tip of your needle is sticking out of the tube tip. Tighten your tube vise down, attach your clip cord, and you're ready to go. Once you've got your clip cord attached, you've got a foot switch that actually turns the power on and off of your machine. 